Two hospitals and 17 clinics in western Wisconsin will be closed by the end of June after HSHS unexpectedly announced it's ending its operations in the region yesterday afternoon. While many of the effects from the closure are yet to be seen, WEAU's Kim Leetholm tells us more about one of them. Alex, mental health resources, specifically inpatient treatment options, are hard to come by, especially for juveniles. Now in the Chippewa Valley, the only area hospital providing, providing this service is closing. The ripple effect of this closing is, I think, uh, probably beyond imagination at this point. Sacred Heart Hospital in Eau Claire is the only hospital in the region providing inpatient behavioral health resources for minors. For example, if a minor is suicidal and having a mental health crisis, they may be placed in an emergency hold at a facility like the one in Sacred Heart. If Sacred Heart is full, that minor would have to go somewhere else in the state. Sacred Heart is frequently full, uh, which means that we are either having to find hospitalization further out or we work hard with the families to do some type of a safety plan. With the closure of Sacred Heart expected by April, the nearest location for this resource will now be at Gunderson in La Crosse. If we look at the, the distance that people are going to need to travel um, more frequently now to receive inpatient behavioral health services, you're taking them out of their community where their resources are, where their natural support system is. And if Gunderson can't take those patients, the search goes even further. I don't want to be an alarmist, but it's going to potentially lead to more citizens who have a uh, emergency detention going to Winnebago, which is across the state. Those involved with finding a placement for patients in need say having options nearby is vital. The closer we can keep the children and adults who are experiencing a mental health crisis uh, closer to the families, I think the better the outcome. Tim Esker, the director of the Chippewa County Department of Human Services, says it will be an adjustment. It's going to take some uh, uh, thinking, some collaboration, and reaching out to other community partners. We're going to get through this. We reached out to staff with HSHS about the closure of this resource. They said, quote, we understand patients will have questions about transitioning their care and we will do everything possible to assist them in finding other providers. Now, HSHS staff also provided us with links to frequently asked questions meant to help patients with their concerns. We'll have that information on our website.